I originally saw this start and come out last night before I went to bed. And I didn't really think too much of it. I think I was just too much hyped up about T1 winning Worlds last night because that's all I was doing from like 7 o'clock all the way up to 11. I even watched like all the way up until the League of Legends Twitch stream ended because, you know, I'm a, I'm a T1 fan and seeing Faker win his fourth Worlds and Zayus winning MVP, I was hype as fuck for that shit, you know, coming out winning 3 a So I didn't really think too much of this. You know, I, I definitely was like, ah, oh, this is pretty bad, but I didn't really think that it was, you know, all that bad. I, like I said, I, I think I was just too much hyped about everything that was going on, you know, with T1. So I didn't really think too much of it. I was going to make a video, but I was like, nah, I'm just going to go to bed. I'm pretty tired. But then I woke up this morning, probably about, I'd say about an hour ago, an hour and a half ago. And damn, I went on my Twitter and YouTube and this is already like scouring and fucking making its waves like all the way throughout social media, and rightfully so. So this is the whole Pokemon cookie controversy that's been going on, I'd say for about, what, almost a week now. I think it, it, it literally started to kick off as soon as she released, like, her brand of cookies. So a little bit of backtrack and a little bit of, like, background of what's happened. So about a week ago, Pokemon came out, and she said that she's announced that she started this new... Um, this new company called Minor Snacks and that she's going to be releasing like healthy alternatives to like, you know, your typical cookies and all that kind of stuff. So just basically like a healthy alternative to, you know, having snacks, you know, her, you know, her being a gamer and, you know, sometimes trying to find snacks and alternatives to, you know, you know, a lot of junk food, you know, a lot of it's not healthy for you. So she wanted to make this somewhat healthy product that you could still enjoy and that tastes good. And which is like kind of fair enough. It, it's it it is a good idea, especially from her point of view. You know, making a healthy cookie can, can do you really good, especially for someone you know who plays games and for a streamer. It's it's a it's a good business like direction to go towards. But from the moment that she released these cookies, they already had controversy like splattered all over them. The first thing that came out about them was the price. So. The price for these cookies are about $7 per bag, which at first isn't too bad, but the fact that they are only 4 ounces or 114 grams per bag, that is a decent amount of money. Like $7 just for 114 grams of cookies is a lot, and you can't even buy them like one per bag. You actually have to buy them in packs. So if you go on her website, and this is all in USD, just remember that. I live in Australia, so if, unfortunately for me, they're going to cost even fucking more than just $7. And so you have to buy them in minimum four packs, then you have to buy them in eight packs or 12 packs. And if you buy them in four packs, it's like $28 just for like a one-time purchase. It's $28, so it's $7 per bag. And this started picking up even more controversy when some people actually realized that these were just basically a ripoff or if not just a copy and paste of another brand of cookies from Tootsie's. Now, Tootsie had this product called Midnight Mini Cookies, which is literally the exact same name of theirs, just taken and put into Pokemon's new cookies. And these cookies were originally out and apparently that was selling at Costco. Um, I watched Charlie's video earlier about this as well. And he said that, you know, these cookies apparently were actually really popular and a lot of people actually really enjoyed um, these cookies, but they were selling at $10 per bag. But, and you might think, oh, Pokemon's actually decreased the price of these cookies. Well, she's decreased the price, but the difference is, is that Pokemon's cookies Per bag are four ounces, where the Tootsie's Midnight Mini Cookies were 14 ounces per bag, which I think is about like, it says here, it says about 0.875 pounds, LB, which I think, which is obviously, I'm pretty sure is in pounds. I'm not sure how much grams that is because like on hers ones, it says 114 grams. Um, I'm not sure how many grams that is like for theirs, but that's a massive fucking difference. You are literally getting 10 ounces less but and only paying $2 less for 10 ounces less of these cookies. So that's a, already like a massive fucking difference between like the like the the serving size of these cookies. And then obviously Pokemon came out and she wrote this whole entire um like literal fucking essay talking about how, you know, she she actually rebranded these cookies, which apparently is a lot of like what a lot of these influencers do. 
Um, I'm not sure if it's 100% true, but I also read that this is actually what Mr. Beast did with his, like, chocolate as well. Like, his isn't, like, his own brand from the ground up. It's more or less they take a brand that's somewhat failing or that's failed already. They buy that brand and they kind of, like, rebrand it into their own, which is kind of fair enough. You know, if you're an influencer, it's probably the best way to go. And I understand that to some extent. And then Pokemon's also come out and said that she changed a lot of the ingredients in her product, which is the reason why, apparently you know, costs and prices change. And that would be fair enough. But the fact that like you are getting 10 ounces less inside a bag and then only charging $2 less is a fucking law. And like I said, the one thing that people had apparently about the product when it came to the original Tootsie Midnight Cookies is that the reason that people didn't really buy them all that much, and I think the reason why they failed, is because the pricing of these cookies was a lot. People didn't want to pay $10 a bag for cookies, which is a lot. Like, cookies aren't that fucking expensive. You could, I could literally go to Coles, which is like an Australian supermarket, and I could probably buy a bag of cookies for like two fucking dollars, for like Four, five bucks and they'd be fucking huge and i'd get like tons of fucking cookies for five and australian dollars is just remember this australian is a lot more than fucking us so i could go to coles and get like cookies f like probably maybe even the same price as pokemon's cookies and i'd get a whole lot more than just fucking four ounces so like i said the pricing for the toasties cookies was already a lot so of course people are going to have problems with the pricing for, you know, Pokemon's cookies. And you'd think that she would maybe be somewhat considerate towards her audience, maybe saying that like, oh yeah, trying to give some reasoning for the cookies, saying that, you know, guys, we really tried our best to get the prices down. Unfortunately, you know, because of the new ingredients that we've had to add, and, you know, we really tried to make them as healthy as possible. And if you know anything about health, if, if you, like me, and, you know, you're big on health, um, I am in a bulking stage, so I do eat a little bit more junk than usual. But at least when I was younger and I was like, playing sport and I was like watching my, you know, health a little bit more than I am at this point in time, you know, you would know that health products aren't that cheap and it's kind of fair enough. So maybe you would think that she'd come out and say that, but no, instead in her recent stream, she came out and said probably what is the worst possible thing that she could have said. And I'm going to play the clip now and then we're going to talk about it a little bit more. So here's a clip of probably the worst words that could have come out of this woman's mouth. When people... Like, oh my god, $28 for cookies? It's four bags. That's seven. Seven dollars a bag. I know, I know math is hard when you're an idiot, but. Uh, like, if you're a broke boy, just say so. Anyways. I heard Charlie say it, and it's so fucking true. Like, I, I really wish I could come up with my own thing, but like. I, I, it, it's so fucking true what the man said when I was watching his video about this already. Like, you already know that when her managers and her PR team were watching this clip or have seen this clip going around social media, you know that they stood up out of their chairs and they were just like, well, guys, we're done here. This is what he did. He was like, well, we're done here. That's it. We've had a great run. Good job, everybody. We've just, uh, well, we're fucked now. Also, I've been having so many problems with my camera already this morning. Like, I'm trying to get ready for my stream and my camera's just being a cunt right now. So that's just a little side note. I think it's I think it's working fine. I think it's better. So I just had to reset my fucking OBS. But man, what, what Charlie said is so true. Like, this is probably the worst thing that she could have said by far. Charlie also in his video showed like he, he was even convinced that maybe she was actually joking and she just like after this, she said, actually guys, I'm joking. Here's the reason why, which would be fair enough. But she wasn't. She was dead set serious about saying this shit. And you know what? I, I have to admit, I've never really been a massive fan of Pokimane. I've never hated her that much. Like, I do follow her on Instagram. I do follow, I think I follow her on, like, Twitter as well. You know, she's pretty big. So, you know, a lot of these big creators, I do like to follow them because, you know, I, I like, I like content creation. I like doing it myself. I've also, you know, I've watched content creators for a fucking long time. I like watching streamers and all that kind of stuff. So I like to follow them, see what they're up to and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, but I've never really, like, really liked her content all that much, but I've never hated her as well. But damn, I've I've even like you know doing like just going through a lot of these comments throughout you know these videos that I've seen on Twitter on YouTube. A lot of the people are not fucking surprised by these comments. You know, a lot of people say that she's not a very sympathetic person, and apparently that she's extremely fake. You know, 
I've also seen that she likes the public eye to perceive her a certain way compared to how she actually is. Uh, I also saw that there's another content creator, Nadia, who, if you don't know, she's like massive Call of Duty. What she got famous from, you know, supposedly cheating on Call of Duty. I, I don't really know if that's fucking true, but a lot of people say it is. I don't really care too much about that. COD's a shit game anyways. But she actually came out and has actually defended Pokemon, which I think is kind of a bit stupid, especially because of the words that she said. So her tweet, she's come out and said, you guys have people like Neon Jack, Sneeko, who average thousands of viewers and do nothing but spread negativity and harass people in public. But when a girl sells cookies, that's when y'all speak out. The immense hatred towards women on the internet is unhinged. This comment is just so absolutely fucking stupid. This is, the people are not hating on Pokemon because it's a sexist, because it's sexism. This is so fucking stupid. People are not hating on Pokemon just because she's sexist. I saw, I was watching Asmongold's briefly, um, video briefly about this as well, and people were saying that like, oh, if XQC did this, people wouldn't care. People would care if XQC did this. People fucking can't stand XQC. Have you seen the fucking ridicule that that man has gotten in the last few months when it comes to his React video? Obviously, majority of it, maybe, you know, somewhat is deserved because his React videos are pretty fucking, you know, boring and the man just literally re-uploads other people's videos of him with him just sitting in the fucking corner just staring at the screen majority of the fucking time but people would be pissed off at him as well people aren't pissed off at pokemon because she just released a cookie and because you know you know people are really annoyed at her the fact that she released them that a little somewhat overpriced which like i've said already and a lot of people are saying as well that seven dollars for a bag of cookies especially for a bag of four ounce cookies is a lot and the fact that you can't even buy them separately you have to buy them in a four pack you know people don't want to spend 28 dollars just on fucking cookies majority of the people who are going to buy these cookies are the ones that literally like love fucking pokemon and follow pokemon to the end of the world like her diehard fans which she 100 percent has because when you're a streamer this big you know you have those fans you know yeah, unfortunately, when, when you're a, a female streamer as well, you're gonna have those massive simps. <laughs> that's just that's just the way it is. You know, guy streamers, we 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 get like the the um, viewers that will defend us to the end of the earth. You know, just the the crazy unhinged motherfuckers. And then you know, when it comes to female streamers, they just get the biggest absolute simps in the world. So you know that they are definitely gonna buy you know these cookies. But that's just not gonna help fund your entire thing. And the fact that she's come out and called people broke boys is what people are saying. She is extremely out of touch with her comments. Like, she has so much money that to her, $7 for a bag of cookies is nothing. Because she's extremely well off. Let's be honest. Pokemon has been a streamer for a long time. And she has been a very popular streamer for a long time. Uh, wasn't it her that had to actually like limit the amount that people could donate to her because at one point people were donating like $500 to her like that's absolutely fucking ridiculous for people to donate you $500 so you really know that the amount of money that Pokemon gets through AdSense to ad revenue on her on her YouTube on her Twitch and the amount of donations that people give her through her Twitch that she has an exceptional amount of money especially from all the brands that she does as well through sponsorships and obviously you know I think she she I think she's with like her own org as well I'm not is she with is she with offline TV I think I think that might be her I think she's with offline TV so she has that that org as well you know and obviously she's had you know this brand adventure now which is definitely going to still earn her a decent amount of cash so she's well off she's not up to date with the fact that you know for an ordinary person seven dollars for a bag of cookies is a lot of fucking money and she you know, so coming out and making these comments is extremely fucking out of touch. Of course people are going to hate her for it. It doesn't matter whether she was, she's a woman or a man. People are going to fucking hate her comments for saying this. So yeah, I, I definitely think that, you know, this is not looking good for Pokemon. I could see an apology video coming out in the next few days. Or, you know, I, I don't know if Pokemon's the type of person to do an apology video. Maybe we'll see an apology tweet. Um, one in Notepad, like she did with her cookies. Can I just say that, like, writing something in Notepad, screenshotting it, and then posting it to your Twitter is probably the worst way to, like, talk about something. Like, why you gotta write it in notes for? Just, just, just make a tweet. Just, or make a video about it is probably better. Why you gotta screenshot a Notepad for? But yeah, like, just copy and paste it, dude. But yeah, it's, 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 this is not a good PR stunt or whatever the hell it is for Pokemon. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this whole situation down below. That's it from me. Peace out. Also, I'm streaming at the moment, so you watch.